So autoimmune conditions, rheumatoid arthritis, there's many other autoimmune conditions that belong in the same family and the, the principle is the same. Your body is attacking a, your own, either a joint or it's attacking the nerve endings like MS or it's attacking other tissues in your body. But the basic mechanism is that your body is simply can't control it. So you keep attacking and then you have all these symptoms related to that. So what do we do? We do this mini liposuction and we typically apply three intravenous injection derived from this fracture that we talked about. And sometimes when the patients have significant joint involvement, we do some injections directly into, into the area affected. And the intravenous part is a key thing because some places they just do it in the joint. But again, we know that this is uh, systemic. It's a problem of the whole body. So you have to deliver these cells, specifically these factors, to the, whole, to the whole body, basically. And we know that because in animal studies, it has been shown that these factors can migrate to all these areas where there's damage. So the intravenous injection is really key. A lot of people say, why, why do I have to be there two weeks? Well, that's another big issue. You just create it by the liposuction, an area of inflammation. So if you apply these cells the same day, guess what, where most of them are gonna to go? To the area you just created inflammation, to the liposuction, that's one. Two, you really cannot, in, in the same procedure, determine how many cells you're putting or what the quality is, et cetera. And uh, so that's why these cells or this fat is taken to the lab, it's processed clean to make sure it's free of all these infectious diseases that we talked about, and then we allow the healing of the liposuction to subside. So that way when they get the cells the week after, then we assure or we at least minimize that they will go to the areas where we want them to go. As I mentioned before, we're really proud of all the, the scientific publications we've done to, to look at the rationale of what we're doing. And then this is a study that we did on rheumatoid arthritis and we've done it in, in all the conditions that we're treating right now. And uh, so this was a study published in 2010 that mentions all these things that, I'm, that I was talking about of why the fat and why these cells can help with this process. And this is just a case report. You know, we've had multiple patients with rheumatoid arthritis. This is just one that I'm gonna present. There's a patient that was diagnosed in 2006 he had multiple joint pains and swelling. He had a lot of morning stiffness, what a lot of patients with rheumatoid arthritis get. As typically happens, again, most people look, seek stem cell therapy when everything has failed. And he went through every drug imaginable to treat rheumatoid arthritis, and he was miserable with side effects. And most of these new drugs that are out there can help, but a lot of times, most they get a lot of side effects due to them. So he failed everything. He, he lives in Panama. He talked to us, and we decided to treat him in August of 2010 with his own fat. Four, four months later, his morning stiffness dramatically improved to a point where he basically had none. And he, was, he had significant less swelling and, and pain in the area. So it was pretty dramatic, and that's typically what we see with rheumatoid arthritis. He's walking now. His energy level... It has improved, and that's what I'm talking about, that all these other changes that these patients encounter are really significant. In 2005, I was diagnosed with uh, rheumatoid arthritis and started treatment uh, right away. Uh, the traditional treatments did not seem to work. I changed from several treatments, and the one that did was an experimental drug, uh, ocrelizumab. That was about two years ago, okay. and then they discontinued it, and uh, it really didn't work, and I started on uh, Humira, and that really, really didn't seem to do much of anything. At that time, I could barely walk across the street, and the, I was in, in constant pain. In the beginning, uh, I couldn't sleep for more than 10 minutes at a time. And I had to sit in a chair to be able to sleep for those 10 or 15 minutes. 
and uh, it, was, it was very discouraging. Very, in fact, I, I wanted to die. It was so, it was so intense that uh, I, I didn't want to go on that way. It was not, it was not life. And even with the traditional treatments, it seemed to help somewhat, but uh, was no relief. A year ago in August, I did the stem cells, and after about three or four months, I started to notice the difference. I <clears throat> can't say that I'm 100%, but uh, for what it was to what I am, it's, uh, I got my life back. I can walk. <laughs> I can walk. I can, uh, it, it, I'm, I'm basically pain free. I still have a, you know, a little bit of, uh, not, not necessarily pain, but discomfort in my toes occasionally, and sometimes in various joints it bounces around a little bit, but it's nothing, nothing like it was before. They took, uh, they did a mini liposuction, mm -hmm. uh, processed it, and, and uh, gave it to me intravenously. People that have, have not seen me in a while and said that, you know, that my, my, my face has changed and, and my look, you know, I feel different. Of course, you know, when you're living with pain, you're awful tight. And, and that's, that's changed. And I just saw some people that I haven't seen in a while last week. And they remembered that when they saw me last, I couldn't walk. And they said, wow, you know, this is, you're a new person now. And I am. Well, that's, a, that's really what keeps us going, you know, when we see these results and uh, it's really amazing and, uh, and this is a condition again that's really devastating, like multiple sclerosis is. And they're, they're similar, as I mentioned, both of them is the immune system that's attacking you. And, uh, and really the difference is one is attacking the joints and the other one is attacking the myelin sheath and the nerve endings, but they behave very similar. MS is a, probably a little more aggressive and it's, it's a more tough condition, but we've had really encouraging results and uh, we're really also uh, proud of what we've done with MS. And uh, this is just uh, the three case reports that we published and uh, they were treated from the Dallas Fort Worth area and we use a combination of the fat derived with um, cord cells. And, uh, and that's one of the things that in MS we've seen, that we, because that's another thing that we are really proud of. We follow our patients very closely, so we know what's happening. We are really up to date of what's the literature out there in, in, in all of these conditions. And there are small studies popping out almost every day that are, are really encouraging, uh, showing the safety and the efficacy in these different conditions. So in MS, we've, we've looked at our data, we looked at what's out there, and what we have found is that sometimes the, these mesenchymal stem cells that we talked about uh, that are found in the fat, in MS patients, they're not the greatest. They, they can help, and we still use them. They, we believe that's a key component, but many times we have to combine with cord cells that are more robust, they're more potent in delivering these trophic factors that we talked about, and uh, so combining them a, gives them kind of a one-two punch, and, uh, and we have found a, a encouraging outcomes in, in MS. Obviously, it's a, it's a tough condition, and sometimes patients come back because you can get them to this point, but sometimes a, a, it's not back to 100% or where they want to be. And uh, what we have found is that this booster phenomenon it gives them a, a significant benefit when they come back six months to a year later. So that's what we have seen in these autoimmune conditions where you have to kind of keep pounding your, your own immune system so you can quiet it down and then allow your, your body by the delivery of these factors that we talked about to heal itself.